Hey guys, Ultimate Bitcoin Miner here. Uh, I think it's time to post a new video. Uh, I think I should update you guys on what I've been doing, what I've been up to, and give you some guys some insight on maybe how to make some money with Bitcoin right now. As you can now see, as you all know probably, that Bitcoin went up in the last month. It's gone up $219. In the last year, it's gone up $860. So, you could have um, almost doubled your money if you invested um, early in the year last year, like when I started Bitcoin mining. Um, the reason that I stopped Bitcoin mining, actually, if you guys don't know, I think I've been uh, giving you guys some posts. Um, but for those of you who don't, don't know, I retired Bitcoin mining because. Um, as you guys can see, the difficulty right now is at 460 billion, which is insane. And uh, of course, the block reward halving that happened last July um, really cut on the amount of money. Even though Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin going up, one uh, eight minus nine would only make you uh, nine dollars and eighteen cents a day before electricity and uh, 275 a month before electricity and after electricity six dollars and one cent and uh, monthly 180 which isn't pretty seems pretty grim when you're paying a thousand four hundred and sixty four for the ant miners night one ant miner is nine have you and if you do the calculation for let's say two or four Let's do the calculation for four and minus nines. I already did it. If you guys want to do it yourselves, you can do it. But it was basically seven hundred um, and fifty a month, and you were paying like three hundred in electricity, so you were getting like four hundred and eighty after electricity. Well, if you have my electricity here is ten cents a kilowatt hour, so. It wouldn't seem too smart to invest in the Ant Miners 9 where I live right now with the difficulty, we, ugh, difficulty the way it is and the block reward how it is too. Um, for those who get, uh, have free electricity, I'd recommend Bitcoin mining because you could keep all the profit with no power cost. Um, some people had questions about pool URLs for some reason. So let me just get that out of the way. Um, you have a you go to slush pool. Most uh, pools have their URLs right in the, the first page you go to. Like right here, it says "Looking for mining URLs." Click here to get started, uh, and you just look at the here's the URL for the pool, and then you may you uh, for the username you, in on your ant miner or whatever you use to mine. Um, it's your username dot and then anything you can name your your Bitcoin miner anything you want literally or it'll name it as a random number and, uh, and the password is anything literally anything um, because anyone as I said before in a previous video anyone trying to <laughs> use your URL and your username is only gonna make you money um, and in Kano same thing Pool URLs are right here in the front page. Um, it's something really public for the pool. It's really important. And uh, I've been checking up on the pools. Seems like the um, amount of blocks they're finding is less than last year, actually. If you look at the dates, um, it's not that many per day. I mean, one, two, three. Flush. So I think it, if I counted around six a day, and the pool right now is at 200 petahashes. And for those of you who don't know, that's 200,000 terahashes. I think. If you guys want to correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I think it's 200,000 terahashes. Um, and per day you can see how many they're getting. Finding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Nine, nine blocks not that bad, but when you're sharing it with 200,000 other terror hash it will, uh, users, in the system stats, we can see how many users there are. So, so when you're splitting the reward with 4,839 other users, you're getting a small chunk of the pie if you don't have a ant miner or a Bitcoin mining farm. Because really, um, with Big Bitmain saying they're bringing uh, mining back home with the R4 since the S9 uses so much electricity, they really, I, I don't agree with it, honestly. Because, check this out, um, what was it, uh, terahash rate? I think it was like 8, yeah, it is 8. With 8 terahashes against 200,000 terahashes, you're not getting bare you're getting a really really small really small like point zero zero something slice of the pie and i'm telling you when you're investing a couple thousand bitcoin mining equipment and making holes in your walls to make access for like electricity on um, and the wires and everything in your house it's an investment and when you're getting point zero zero something bitcoin per block you're gonna be really mad so uh, I don't I, I don't agree that you can still Bitcoin mine from home unless you have free electricity and you have um, your own uh, and your own farm because honestly if you're getting point zero zero something Bitcoin per block and then you get only six to nine a day with a pool hash rate of 210 petahash you're not gonna be happy at the end of that month because your electricity bill, if you pay electricity, is gonna be $400 from, from $100 to $400, depending on how many S9s you buy or R4s. And uh, your profits are gonna be a lot lower than you expected unless you use this uh, mining calculator. I'll put the link of it in the description if you guys need it. Um, but yeah, that's that's the whole reason I stopped mining, I, honestly, because who, who who wants to make between 0 0.01 and 0 0.05 Bitcoin a day, depending on how many S9s you have. Using the calculator, you can see that you'd be making around 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 Bitcoin a day with one S9 and 0 0.05, around 0 0.05 uh, Bitcoin a day with four S9s. So you can see the trend here. Honestly, when, you, when you're when you 4,000 in, in the hole, like, Unless Bitcoin goes to like 2,000, honestly, and that difficulty, it's only going to keep increasing. But unless that changes, people are going to stop mining, turning off their miners at home, from home that are paying electricity. And you're going to see the blockchain, um, you're going to see some giant delays in Bitcoin transaction. My friend the other day, he was waiting two days for a Bitcoin transaction, honestly, when uh, it's supposed to take 30 minutes. And actually, I've experienced this too. Um, I thought someone was trying to scam me when uh, they are going to refund me a uh, Bitcoin, but no, it actually took two days. And I personally think it's because of people turning off their um, mining Bitcoin mining equipment which then lowers the hash rate of overall in the world for the blockchain and the difficulty doesn't change until the end of the week so for those of you who don't know every week the blockchain changes its difficulty depending on how many people are mining so for for the rest of the week doesn't matter what day it is the difficulty stays the same so with less people mining in the same difficulty until it refreshes and lowers Bitcoin transactions take a while. Um, let's see the charts. Okay, here's the average confirmation time for the blocks. And as you can see, this is bad. Okay, as you guys can see, it's about once a week that this happens because when people stop mining and turning off their Bitcoin equipment, mining equipment because they're not making any money. You see these spikes about once a week of 302 minutes per block. 
So if you you need two or three uh, block confirmations on a Bitcoin transaction, you're going to be waiting 300 times three, about 906 minutes on average per like Bitcoin transaction, and that's really bad when it's supposed to be around 10 to 30 um, minutes per confirmation. When you see these hitting 351 minutes, 302 minutes, 316 minutes until the um, difficulty corrects for it, people are going to be wondering why is Bitcoin taking so long to com confirm? And this is why. This is why the people are turning off their Bitcoin mining equipment. Only the Bitcoin mining farms are going to stay around unless that difficulty goes down and I don't think it's going to go down. Um, at least that's my opinion. That's why I stopped mining. Um, because I assume you guys know that Bitcoin miners uh, are in charge of uh, block confirmations on the blockchain. And uh, with less mining power and the same difficulty, longer wait times. So I don't, I don't know what we're going to see in the future because um, I, th I thought Bitcoin was going to be great for mining all the time but I don't know it seems like at the end of this year most people mining from home are going to turn off their machines unless they have a farm with free electricity or dirt cheap electricity because you're not going to be making any money paying 10 cents a kilowatt um, 15 cents of course not you're actually going to be losing money at that at that rate um, man what else uh, yeah, it's basically it, guys. Um, I'm, I'm happy Bitcoin's going up. I'm glad I kept most of my money in the Bitcoin. But, um, yeah, that's, excuse my language, but it seemed pretty fucked with the confirmation times. They shouldn't be hitting 300 minutes. Um, that's, that seems too, way too high for, um, for what I expect, the Bitcoin mining. And of course, um, with less people mining, the price is going to keep going up. So I don't see the price going down anytime soon, unless um, when it, it goes up too high, too fast, it takes a little dip, and it just keeps going back up. You can see how that happens, it takes a dip, goes up. If it goes up too fast, it takes a big dip, but if it's steady, um, most of the times, it just takes a small dip. So, Bitcoin's going to keep going up, uh, whether you guys like it or not. I'm actually was waiting. I was actually waiting for it to drop so I can buy and then sell and make money that way. But it hasn't been going down, um, honestly. Like it, it's only been changing about what fifteen dollars, and there's a uh, this what three percent, six percent fee on Coinbase for buying Bitcoin. I don't remember the fee. Let me check it out real quick. Okay, all we have to do is check the fee. Yep, it's 3.99% for credit or debit cards and 1.5% um, for the bank account. Yeah, so it needs to change. It needs to drop way over $15 if I want to sell Bitcoin. Because buying Bitcoin, there's a fee, so you're really not making any money if it doesn't change with for like more than fifty dollars. Well, you really want it to change a couple hundred dollars to make some good money, and to make some good profits buying and selling. And of course, um, with less people mining, um, supply and demand. With less people mining, less Bitcoin being created per hour per day. Um, the cost is going to keep going up. Uh, that's basically the explanation of supply and demand. People demand Bitcoin. Less Bitcoin being created a day, with less miners. A high price. Um, but yeah, that's that's the story basically. Not a story. Um, that's the explanation of why I stopped mining Bitcoin. Um, if you guys want to see for yourself, I'll leave the mining calculator in the description and uh, links to my favorite pools and the in the video description also and uh, thanks for listening bye before I go um, 
I wanted to show you um, why I think people are turning off their miners and um, behind my theory uh, um, of people stopping mining Beca is because um, here's the last year of the average confirmation time and it's only until now that um, these confirmation times are hitting 450 300 when there's like when they used to be rare it's because this difficulty keeps going higher and higher and higher um, well, it's the difficulty, it, I think it's gotten to a point where the difficulty is so high, people mining from home that pay electricity have to turn them off. The profit to um, cost ratio is too high. And uh, here's um, that equation, or I mean the result for four amp miner S9s uh, with the total power um, wattage uh, times four as well. And it doesn't look great, guys. You're making. $21 a day after yeah after electricity with four s9s let me do that calculation real quick about 1400 times four you're 5600 in the hole and you're making $21 a day or 638 a month which would take I mean you're 5600 in the hole and um, in order to get the ROI, return on investment, and the number of months, it would take 5,600 divided by 638. Wow, it would take eight, a little over eight and a half months just to get your return on investment. And this difficulty is going to keep going higher, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if you guys could please uh, donate some Bitcoin to the Bitcoin address in the description, that would help. And guys, remember to like and subscribe to keep updated on future videos. And check out my other videos, they might be helpful for your Bitcoin mining needs. Thanks for dropping by.